All right, what's up, visionaries? It's Antonius the Great. I'm here out at Art Basel 2014. Here with Uncut Art as he finishes up a mural for the Basel. And I gotta ask you, man, what made you decide to become an artist? Whoa, I think I was born an artist. I just didn't know it. Yeah. When did you um? When did, I guess when did you come uh come across the knowledge of the of art? Like what? What was the turning point for you? Oh man. Um, Shit, you know what? I used to want to do art that uh, that other people do. Okay. But I didn't know how to, so I just started creating my own art. And when I figured out that I had something that nobody else had, that's when I kind of knew that I had something to work with. And then I started working with it. What would you, what what was your influence? Like, what influenced you as an artist? Like, is it any one person or certain things? Um, well, I have a couple of artists that influenced me to be an artist, and this is because of exactly what I just explained, how they had their own kind of, they had their own identity as far as the artist is concerned. Yeah. Um, like, you know, like the late Basquiat, um, one of my favorites is, um, Banksy's one of my favorites. We got Dolly. Dolly is definitely one of my favorite artists mm -hmm. that inspired me. And it's all not because of just the way their art looked. It's just what they did with their art. Yeah. And how they rocked it, which is just what intrigued me. So that was that's that. All right. Uh, where are you originally from? I'm from New York. New York. So you just down here for the Basel, or? Yeah, I was down here for this in the Basel, y'all. All right. Um, all right, so I see, you know, the the main painting of the of the mural involves Steve Jobs. Is he influencing you as well? Um, what? Steve Jobs is influencing me to my to my era. Okay. It's, it's part of my life, you know. And everybody's like, for that, for that matter, because he's responsible for the whole change of the way technology is being being used today. You know, when it comes to the phones, the iPhone, and so on and so forth. And the way he went by doing it was what intrigued me because this whole concept of thinking differently is what got my heart with. This is what my heart is about. Oh, I'll say that last part one more time, brother. I say this whole concept as far as thinking different is really what yeah. my heart is about. It's encouraging people to think different, think outside the box. Or forget the box, just think it's different. Okay. Would you say that? You know that your art relies on like a lot of symbolism because I see you know there's a lot of different items here. There's you know there's. Please tag me on Instagram. Oh, I didn't even see that, bro. Thank you very much. Symbolism. Yeah. Well, my art. Yeah. Uncut art. This, um, it's it's I art it. within art, right? Okay. So there's always gonna be art within art. Yeah. There's always gonna be art within art in here. So this is what you're gonna see, and then the whole concept of my artwork is written right here. If you really okay. want, like, if you really. This explains why the artwork is the way it is. And exactly what it, I would say this, but they can read it. It's a lot easier when they read it because they can process it. All these strange pieces come came together to create this beautiful image. As humans, so can we. Let's come together. The Palette Garden. All right, back to 2014. Now, what that means is like, if you look at this image right here, bro, like, it's about, it's about more than 500 pieces of things that came in this image right here. None of them are the same, not the same size, not the same nothing. But I, I guarantee you that everyone relies on another to make sure that this image comes out beautiful. So I'm just trying to make that be known that like my art is pretty much modeled behind the way we, we, we as humans and as as a race is kind of modeled, you know? It's like we accommodate each other when we come together, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We like like two magnets that can never come that can never stick together, but they stay this much close to each other. That's the kind of thing like we attract each other that far. We can never we can never occupy somebody's space because that's like against the law of physics. But you can come damn close to it, and that's how you. That's what this artwork is about. And would you say that's like a common theme for all your art, or just for this piece specifically? Well, it's. For all the art, it's gonna be that way. That's what the way it's drawn. It's always gonna be pieces. This whole part of the wall right here, yeah, of him is my art basil week. It's everything that's in here that people that I've met, things that I've learned, things that I've seen, and it's all pictures and things in there. And we're gonna not be able to see it when I'm all done with the whole thing. So 
it's, 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 it changes based on what I want, because that's what my art is about. It's about what I want. I got you. How long have you been doing this? Uh, well, paintings? I've been doing that painting since August. Okay. Since, since August, right? But I've been designing like clothing and sneakers for like, for like years now. So what made you transition into both? Like what was the transition into clothing and then what transitioned right, you to? People, don't, people are not brand, brand loyal no more. You know, like Jay-Z say, yo, this shit is hot. Everybody want it. Jay-Z say, nah, this shit is not. Everybody don't want it. I don't want to be stuck in that in that world where somebody dictates my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want the people to dictate for themselves. So I had to take my art off the clothing, off the sneakers, and put it where it's going to be hanging and you're never going to be able to like... Depreciate the value. You never depreciate the value at all. I respect that, bro. And that's where I, I think that my, my art should be more appreciated than worn on a piece of clothing because it's not just it's not just art for your eyes. It's actually mental. It's like a mental reprogrammer in a sense. Mm. All right. I guess I I will ask. What will you? What would be your long term goal for your brand? Like, where do you see the brand going in five, 10, 15 years? I see this 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 art right here being licensed by BMW to just to just um, detail the seats and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see like I see very corporate stuff for this brand. That's why Steve Jobs is one of the people that I chose to to represent my art. You know because I definitely want to stay in the corporate aspect of it and license my stuff. And then and then from there I just want to be able to do what the hell I want to do with my art. You know like things. Well, I mean, get back to just not my community, but to the world. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be able to afford to, to get back in and help those who can't. Not that they can't help themselves, we don't know how to help themselves. And yeah. teach them how to help themselves. And teach them that they're not helpless. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my goal with my art is just a vehicle. It's just a piece of. It's just one of the things that I'm using to get to where I'm going. I it got ain't you. even it. And it's just fun doing this, but I'd rather be out talking to some kids and trying to break their like their whole mental process of how they see the world and trying to get them to see it differently. But you know, we'll start somewhere. So I guess tying in, tying into that, like what, what creative influences would you want to leave back for the upcoming generation and you know what was the question? Like what what creative influences would you like to leave for like the upcoming generations of artists and just, you know, young kids and people who are looking for inspiration? But I think they should know what the hell they want to do first. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, it's so many. Like, I was, I, I, like, this is my first basil, so I've been, I've been studying this art thing, just trying to figure out what I like be, from what I want to do, trying to figure out how feasible and possible it was. I feel like people just need to know how to do things because a lot of people feel like they can't do things. Like somebody told me that I couldn't do this wall because I've never done a big wall this big. But what they don't understand is that. Can nobody tell me what I can do or what I can't do because only I know that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to be honest with that person, what I told him is that, and I had the person mind, I'm like, bro, the fact that I never done it is my is my drive to want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to keep doing the same shit. Like, I'm not that person. Like, I like new shit. You know what I'm saying? I like experiencing new things, going new places and seeing new things. Like, I don't like waking up and seeing the same shit every day. That's that's why every time you look at this art, you're going to see something different. Yeah. Every time you look at it, you wake up every day, you're going to look at it, you're going to see something different. And that's, that's me. You know, and then I'm trying to That's dope. Alright, well, I appreciate taking the time to interview, bro. This is Un, aka Uncut Art. You can follow him on Instagram. Don't at... show my face. I hope you show my face. <laughs> Just the artwork. Yes, thank you. You got a Twitter handle also? All right, all the same. Same thing? All right. All right, boss. Appreciate it, man.